Good morning everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam, this is my channel Adam Sews, and today is Friday, which means it's another Friday Sews. And we are, where are we Darren? Uh, Petersfield. On our way to Petersfield to pick up a wetsuit, because yes, we are that ridiculous, and we are taking the dogs for a swimming session um, in a place in Chichester. So we are gonna pick up a wetsuit just in case one of us needs to jump in and save them, because it is a natural pond, is that natural? Uh, yeah, natural. Natural swimming pools, pond, spring thing. So it's going to be absolutely freezing cold. Um, so I will check in with you when I get back and I will show you what I've been up to this week. We have had quite a lot of making going on in the server room this week and I have managed to get quite a few caddies done and a lot of other projects started. So I will go through that when I get back. Bye. Hey, hey, right, so you <laughs> at the top part. You got your you got your floaty on, Lulu. She's not so impressed. Come on, not so impressed at all. Hi. <laughs> so we are Lulu. just about to um, see if we can entice Lulu in because she's um, not very interested at the moment. Dobby's got a ball Dobby. out of the little ball vending machine. In. Good boy, come on in. Come this on. is the um, come on. first time he's been in the pool as well. Right. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's on one. Here he goes. Oh, good boy. That's a good boy. Come then. Well done, Dobby. Oh, it's a bit deep, he says. Come on then. Good boy. Come on then. So we'll see if we can get him in. Come on then. Come on then. That's a good boy. Yeah. Here goes tiny Lulu on her little um, swimming trip. Ready? Come on then, chicken. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Blobby. Good Blobby. girl. Good girl. Here it goes. This comes to Blobby. Ready? Come on, then. Mr. Blobby. You swimming your little leggies. Hey, good boy. Right, so we are back home and I thought I would go through what I have sewn this week for you. And then I'm going to quickly do a little unwrapping of something that was sent to me from Franklin's um, this couple of weeks ago, actually. And I just haven't got around to unwrapping it. So I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing with that for you. Um, so I have this week managed to get through quite a substantial amount of my pre-orders. I've literally just finished doing the binding on the last one, but I managed to get not one, but five caddies done this week. So I've got two caddy packers that I need to make to go with one of them. Um, and then that is five of my pre-orders done, which then rounds me up to not that, I think about another five that are left on there. And then I'm going to open my pre-order again. Um, so I will quickly show you the ones that I made. I made these in one big batch, so I was cutting out all of them together, all of them, and then doing all of one bit, and then all of the next bit, because it's the quickest way of making them and the most sensible way of doing it, because you do one process over and over again. So the first one that I finished was this beautiful one here, which is the Lion from Everglow. So it's got um, some of the extra um, neon neutral uh, ribbons on there, and it's also got the reprint of the Birds and the Bees ribbon. So that was the first one. The second one I did was this one here, which is for um, a lovely lady called Denise. She wanted one that was bright, colourful and matched a project bag that I made of her a little while ago that a friend bought for her. So this one is just all different Tudor Pink fabrics um, from loads of different lines. It's got these lovely pink handles, really, really bright and vibrant inside. The third one, again, is another bright, colourful, um no i've got these the other way around i can't remember now they might be the opposite way around but there is another lady that contacted me that wanted one that was bright colorful and lots of different colors so i need to work out which one that i made for which now because i can't remember but that was the third one that i made the fourth one was a um the lady that i made 
lovely Laura that I made the EPP bags for a couple of weeks ago, probably about a month ago now, asked if I would be able to make her a caddy, but she wanted it in K-Facet fabrics. So I have made this one, which I was talking to the lovely Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl last night, and she said that this is her favourite one out of all of them. Um, and this one has got a tiny little bit of Tudor ribbon on there, just to give it a little bit of detail. I've got a little one of the Specky Seamstress little sewing machine labels on there. It's got a beautiful navy zip with the rainbow and a rainbow zip pull. And then inside is some other K fabrics inside. And then the last one is another K one, which another lady asked me for. Um, and this one is sort of more blue. It's got my little Amso's label on there. This one's got a handmade label on this end. And then it's got two Specky Seamstress labels, one with a sewing machine and one that says made to measure. This one also has made to measure on the end here. So those are all of the caddies that I managed to get done this week, which I'm really pleased with. I love how all of them have turned out. The one with the snails on here from Slow and Steady. I love this. I was very, very tempted to keep that one, but I can't because I can't have 18 caddies. Um, so I'm going to quickly move this camera over here a little bit. And I thought I would go through the lovely order that came from Franklin's, which is this huge tube full of new vinyl, which is going up on their website today, I believe. I was having a little chat with um, the lovely George from Franklin's. And if you're in the UK, they are going to be running a... 48 hour 10% discount on all of their vinyls um, over the weekend. You can order them on their website. They are really, really nice quality. When I can get them out of the bag. Russell, Russell, Russell. So these are some of their vinyls. They are, as I say, the beautiful quality. Some of them are backed differently to others. Um, they are on a 10% discount for this weekend but they are really, really reasonable prices. Um, let me unravel these and I will show you what there is. So I'm just gonna try and rest that on there without knocking everything off. So the first one on here is a beautiful faux ostrich leather and it is a black vinyl, which is like a faux ostrich print. This I thought would be really, really nice for pockets on a jacket or for obviously the bases of bags and different things. I also thought this one might be quite good for the base of slippers because it would be non-slip. Um, so this one is like a felt backed vinyl, really lovely quality, really, really wide. Um, so you get loads of vinyl for your money. The second one is one that I actually asked for because as some of you may know, that at the end of this year, towards the end of sort of October, November time, Trula Pink is launching another range, which is called Untamed, and it features the neons that are in her Everglow and her Neons and Neutrals range. And one of them is going to be a dog tooth print. So I was thinking, playing with the neon dog tooth, having some of this black and white dog tooth on a bag with it would kind of go really well, and it would give you that sort of kind of contrast between the black and the white and the bright neon um so you break it up so this one is really good heavy quality um it's got this one as well is like a, almost like a felt back into it um so yeah that is the dog tooth the other one that i asked for was this beautiful powder blue which again Powder blue goes with everything. This is going to complement loads of different fabrics that I use. And for the bases of bags, bag handles um, and different things, it just gives a lot of stability. And I think it's going to work really well with the colours that I use. The other one is this little, this one's sort of like a charcoal colour, sort of like a greeny charcoal colour. And it's almost like a really, really small sort of crocodile snakeskin um, sort of feel to it. Again, I thought this would be really good for um, the underside of slippers, or it could also be used to make sort of like um, really nice patches on elbows of jackets and different things as well. So those are just a few of the ones that they have got available. They've also got a really, really fancy, nice gold one. Um, and there's some other metallics and other vibrant colours as well. I think there's some really nice deep reds. 
and different things so i will link down below the uh, direct link to those on their website so if you're in the uk and you like using vinyl or you wanted to play around with some vinyl while it's on a really good promo um go and have a look and i will catch up with you all very soon i am gonna go now drink my coffee upload this video and then i'm gonna cut out a couple of liberty shirts i want to get made this weekend in some Liberty Tanner Lawn that has been sat there winking at me asking to be shirts for quite some time now. I've also very, very excitingly this week managed to take a uh, to place a pre order of six of the mini Tudor irons, which I'm super excited about because I've been waiting to get my hands on one for absolute ages. Um, so I have, I may possibly have a couple of those available, but I do believe they're not coming until the end of June, beginning of July sort of time. Um, which is when they will begin shipping. Um, so I will talk to you all very soon and have a good weekend. I hope you fit some sewing in and I will see you next week. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.